Ukraine, using UAV attacks, disabled about 14% of Russian oil refining capacities. Ukrainian drone strikes on Russian energy infrastructure earlier this year knocked out 14% of the country's oil refining capacity and drove up domestic fuel prices but had minimal impact on electricity production, Bloomberg writes, citing the Pentagon's intelligence agency. According to the publication's calculations, the loss of some capacity led to an increase in domestic fuel prices by 20% to 30% by mid-March. To satisfy the needs of the domestic market, the Russian Federation was forced to stop exports. To soften the impact of these blows, Russia banned gasoline exports for six months starting in March, began importing petroleum products from Belarus that it planned to import from Kazakhstan, and gave priority to the shipment of petroleum products by Russian railways over other modes of transport, the report says. U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency Although the attacks are still ongoing, the analysis covers only a two-month period, from the first attack on the Novatek PJSC plant in U.S. Teluga on January 21, to the March 24 attack on the power plant in Novichokovsk. It is stated that Ukraine's actions led to minor interruptions in the power supply to the Russian military and civilian population since Russia has powerful generating capacity, the third largest in the world, and a high degree of redundancy in its network. Intelligence also noted Ukraine's influence on Russian naval operations. Due to the attacks by the Ukrainian armed forces, the Russian Black Sea Fleet began to avoid the Ukrainian coast and redeployed some ships from its main base in occupied Sevastopol in Crimea. ничего с ними сделать пламя вообще не выражает еще и ветер помогает вызывает господи там уже охватило все сюда пошло ну что Пойдем, пойдем. 
Ну, не подняли, что ли?